Now we'll introduce you to the sewing machines. The remaining MakeSlip machine, but today we'll cover the Genomi MyXL 18W, which are the models in the Makerspace. Most mechanical elements and functions are similar on all sewing machines, so what we'll be covering today is generally transferable. Firstly, the spool pin is where the thread's held, and it's generally found on the top of most sewing machines. The thread is then threaded into the machine. Most machines will have small diagrams or numbers, as this machine does, to help you guide you through the threading process. From the spool, the thread passes through the tension plates. Adjusting the tension dial is important to create a good stitch. After the tension plates, the thread needs to be hooked on the take-up lever and finally looped behind the thread guide bar on the needle. After following the path for threading, you will need to thread the eye of the needle. It helps to cut the thread with a sharp pair of scissors, which reduces the amount of obstruction from fray. Here is the presser foot, which can be changed for specific tasks. The standard foot will be suitable for most projects. The foot is raised and lowered by the lever at the back. Under the foot are the feed dogs, which pick up and move the fabric as you sew along. Under the presser foot is the throat plate, showing measurements and guidelines for your seam allowances. Through the centre is where your bobbin thread locks you with your needle thread. The needle can be moved up and down with a hand wheel on the right hand side. You will need to use this when positioning the needle, manoeuvring tight corners and going through many layers of fabric. The bobbin is a smaller spool of thread which you will see on the underside of the fabric. It's important that you follow the bobbin diagram on the throw plate to insert it in the correct direction. You will find that you need to reload this often and we will cover how to do this in this video series. At the front of the machine you will find the stitch setting sliders. The top slider changes the stitch width and the bottom changes stitch length. The smaller dial to the side of the machine changes stitch type, for example straight stitch or zigzag. To get the machine sewing, here is the full pedal which will control the sewing speed. On the pedal is a switch to limit speed if you're just starting, or need a bit more control. On the front of your machine is a reverse button to change the direction of the feed dogs, creating a back stitch. This is important for locking in your stitches at the beginning and end of each seam. You'll need to hold this down while you back stitch, and release it to return to forward stitching. Those are the ins and outs of what you will need to know. You'll get to understand the machine better by completing the skill builder activities before jumping into the final project but don't be afraid to ask a demonstrator if you need any help. Thanks.